Maxi is a Nunchaku wielder who hails from the Ryukyu kingdom. Unlike his father, a merchant bound to his kingdom, Maxi refused to be shackled to anything and so chose the path of piracy. With his eyes on the wider world and a trusty crew in tow, he set sail, drifting from adventure to adventure as he saw fit. Now, bound for India, Maxi's ship headed toward Southeast Asia. Soul Edge? The hell is that? It's some sort of legendary sword. This merchant here is saying it's being sold at some shipboard auction. Call me Lila. I need some competent guards to watch over everything. Plus, you have your own boat. Then I guess I'm the man for you. I've got a bad feeling about this, brother. Soul Edge. The name alone sounds like trouble if you ask me. You know me. I'm not one to turn down a beautiful lady. What a wretched job. We're pirates, not handymen. Quit your whining. Ignore my crew. They lack the finer social skills. <laughs> I trust you'll be able to keep them in check. Uh, of course. I reckon we'll all get along just fine. <laughs> Kadana's gonna be jealous. Something's not right, I tell you. <sighs> Whoa, we've barely raised the sails. This don't look good at all. No time for gum flapping. again. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yagaji, sorry, but I got another repair job for you. Yeah, brother, I've blistered my hands making improvements, but it's still far from perfect. Yagaji, how's your injury doing? Yeah, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to use my land legs for a while. Yagaji, I'm fine. It's a great chance for me to look for some good wood. Now, don't get rusty while I'm gone, brother. Not a chance. You've all seen how skilled a fighter I am. <laughs> Not necessarily the best, though, huh? <laughs> no need to add that. <laughs> That's Soul Edge. It's got dubious origins, I say. It's not too late to back out, you know. Don't get hasty. We're earning a pretty penny. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. We get paid, then we weigh anchor. That way, everyone wins. You sure you're a pirate? Uh, no rest for the wicked! Battle 
One. Fight. Say no escape. Say no. Just magpies attracted to shiny things. Guess that means Soul Edge is one hell of a shiny thing. Looks like a whole lot of nothing to me. <laughs> People who can't fight want powerful weapons to do it for them. Even more people stopping by today. Too many for my liking. Couldn't relax. Yeah, it's almost auction day. What? Don't tell me you broke your nunchakus again. Yep, but it's no big deal against small fry like this. put up with being glorified bodyguards till we get to shore. Lila's got us eaten out of the palm of her hand. <sighs> You're still not over that? I've done a bit of asking around about her, and all I hear is bad. You worry too much. You need to work on that. <sighs> and you need to get over your weakness for women.
To think you would be advertising a fake so boldly. If this were a play, you'd be the villain. Don't be absurd. Fools who take information at face value deserve what they get. <laughs> if you're going to kill them, now seems the perfect time. When things are going so well? No. I'll wait for the auction. And once it's over... <laughs> Who's that? Uh oh. The Soph was listening in on us. Who do you think you are laying hands on my people? Brother, those nunchakus! <laughs> Yagaji's masterpiece. Cam, you brought that Soul Edge along? What? Uh, uh yeah. I, I just thought... That thing puts a huge target on your backs. But, but... I'll be taking that sword. See? I told you.
the sword stays with me. It's one thing after the other. What's the big deal about Soul Edge, anyway? This is all it deserves. Oh, what a waste. Even a fake's got its value. Couldn't care less if it was the real thing. These nunchakus Yagaji made are worth a thousand times more. Oh, so that's what you had in mind. Clever. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Lila's none too happy about all this. Well, I think we've been hospitable enough. All right, crew, let's go. Anchors away. Sure thing, brother. We're with you wherever you go. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.